are then met by a significant threat. And it's not just the storm. Yo, this is kind of swag. Welcome to welcome to condition one demo. Now I saw Benja playing this for like half a millisecond, and I was like, "Holy shit, survival horror game!" Snow. I, I really like snow because we don't have it in the Balkans. Also, I think snow is kind of mysterious when there's a snow. Comes. So yeah, uh, let's uh, let's play this. We're going solo in this B. Yes, I will. Got to give respect to all my deaf homies out there so they can see the see the subtitles. Disclaimer: This game is not for the faint of heart. Some scenes may be distressing for others. All characters, depictions, and events in this game are purely a work of fiction. Any real life events relating to this game, as well as blah, 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 blah. all featured music in the game, are copyright free. Use headphones for the best immersive experience. Yeah, I swear to God, if one song is copyrighted, I'm destroying this game. Preparation: March 25th, 1971, Brocken Station, Antarctica. Yo, what up? Yes, I will reply to that message. Um, hello? Hello? Oh, pick up ear and reply. Oh, I thought I was sitting. Yeah, here. What's up? <coughs> you were good. Alex, back from the conversation. He should be back with supplies in a week or so. Okay, when I walk, the audio gets funky. I feel like there's something more you'd want to tell me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought she was into me. God damn it. Them yep. <laughs> I was messing with my audio a bit. I didn't really catch on. Once check up on the satellite dish, fix the service panel at electrical. Holy nuts, dude! Well, it is Antarctica. I don't know what I expected. See map from memory. Oh, okay. Fix the service. Pa oh, I gotta go to electrical. Yep. If it's not the first word in the sentence, that I'm not gonna remember it. Okay, that's some one thing you need to know about me, game. This looks like a shipping crater thing. Cute. Okay, I don't know why I wanted to turn it on there. Guideline to Morse code numbers. If you lost that, what you do? Well, that well that'd be disappointing. But if you're in a real dire need of help, let this guideline help you. Oh, it's 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 Morse code. I didn't hear what was happening. Wait, it says on the thing replace batteries. Are there batteries somewhere? Oh, maybe I need to go check up on the satellite dish. Then if the satellite dish is good, that means comms are good, and that means that this radio actually works. Grab. Do I gotta dig this up? Shovel snow. Yes, I shall shovel shovel the snow. It's the same shit. What? <laughs> the answer is right there. Oh, numerical order. Shit. Wait, what? Oh, now it's good. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, did I do it? <laughs> did I do it? Let's freaking go. I'm so smart. I'm a genius. Yeah, it took me like seven years. Holy shit, Alina. No, no, I'm a shit. Barely hit you over the storm. Yeah, yeah. My man Asha already trying to get that. <laughs> get, get that. Asha got that Antarctica Riz. <laughs> Hell yeah! It took me like 15 minutes to complete the first puzzle. I'm so confident in my ability to complete this game. Hey Ash, I'm back. Yo, what good? Hey Elena. The guys from McMurdo Station say that there might be a storm forming southwest of us. I'd work on that right now, but I'm busy calibrating the weather station. Could you give info on the weather? See if it's heading toward us? Sure, I'll do that. See if the weather is heading toward us. Obtain weather data. Yeah, let me just <laughs> enter your code. What was it? Five, seven, two, seven, nine. Five. I, I, I. <laughs> Welcome to Eagle Eye. Nice, we got freaking Windows 172. Gather weather info, yes. Calibrate satellite dish first. Okay, so then we go, boom, boom, let's go. Error, calculate comms first, watch, testing motors. But damn, it's that big of a number. Move the cross P to the desired area in the graph. X, square root of four, okay, two. I'm so dumb, two, that way. 
Three, that, that's, that's, that's two. Wait, minus one. So that's... Piece of shit, it's, it's kind of... Foxtrot. Oscar. Uniform. Romeo. Watch, X equals Hotel. three Y Romeo. equal... X, three Echo. Y... Uh, Echo. Whereas, first digit from radio audio call. So this is... Oscar. <laughs> 21 minus nine Romeo. times three. 21 minus Tango. 27, Hotel. which is Romeo. negative Echo. Echo. 6. I can't go that far. Hey, okay, there's a 3Y. Hold up. I'm so stupid. Tango. Okay, now it's 20. Hotel. Now it's minus. Romeo. What did I say? Minus 6. Echo. And then it's Echo. divided by 3. That's minus 2. Okay, so Y is minus 2. Yeah, that's X. Okay, okay. But Y is A Oscar. minus B. Oscar. Uniform. Romeo. Four. Oh, four. Four. Okay. Three. Four minus three. That's one. Holy shit. I'm a genius. I'm a, I'm a real with this. Some of the second and third decimal of Avogadro's number. That's 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Difference of sixth and fourth decimal of pi. Okay. So two minus but, but five, which is minus three. That's why. Wait, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Second, okay, but we only did 6.02. We didn't write all of this extra shit. That's four. Hmm? Some. Oh, some of the second and third. One. Oh, it does it says minus. It says minus right there. You piece of shit. Satellite dish successfully. Yeah, give me that data. All right, I just memorized all that. Oh, Ross Ice Shelf will have a storm in approximately one week. Storms bring up and heading towards our direction. <laughs> but we have plenty of time to pack and prepare. Storms should arrive in about a week or so. I hope Alex arrives in time. <laughs> Don't want him to be getting caught up in the storm. Yeah, yeah. I'll be charging my walkie-talkie now, so I won't be able to talk to you. <clears throat> oh, and thanks for the help. No problem. Yep, no problem. I'll see you tomorrow. Man, that's my line. Bye, Ash. See you tomorrow. Alright, she, she, see, she clingy. Said bye, like, twice. Condition 3. April 2nd, 1971. Brockton Station, Antarctica. Ash? Yo, what's good? Where, where's the radio? Yeah, Lena, I'm here. What's good? <laughs> Have you heard anything from Alex? He nope. hasn't updated nor contacted me for a while. He ghosted you. <laughs> no, not really. He probably doesn't have a signal in the store. I mean, he probably has a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, but that's probably it. He probably needs help but can't reach us. We better go save him. You gonna say anything, Asher? Oh, he's stuck there. Asher's contemplating his life. But how would we reach him if it doesn't have signal at all? No how. <laughs> Do you think you could contact McMurdo Station? I want to know if Alex is staying there until the storm dies down. Yo, McMurdo. If not, he's out of his mind to just go out there in the storm. I'm a bit worried, you know? It's not really normal to not hear from a colleague. Also, my antenna's not because of the wind. I'm waiting for the storm to calm down so that I can repair it afterwards. Do you really just need tape for an antenna? Is that all you need? <sighs> all right. I'll contact him. Yeah, Alex. Thank you so I'm much. I'm in my gosh. chair. Okay, so we want comms, right? So we can communicate. That's what comms mean. Communicating. What am I communicating? These. Okay, what the shit? Crap, that scared me. Oh, no. I'll head on over to electrical to see what's up. She's going to electrical. She's going to wires. I'll stay at the station and turn the generator on. Do you need any help? <laughs> Don't think so. A bit easy. Right, the nose has got in for from the storm. If you can hear the flippin' dress up, oh yeah. I would have gone there anyways, you know. Oh shit. Bro, I cannot see anything. Oh, there's a flashlight. Push. Yes, I will return to my cabin. Ugh. Dude, I can feel the cold seeping through the skein. Screen. Ah uh, yes, I shall obtain more weather data. Okay, so I want weather data. So we go up, gather weather info, and then we gotta like break through some freaking Russian spy server type shit. Bro, again? Elena, get out of there! You're gonna get murdered. The wind's very harsh tonight, so I'm guessing that's the reason why. They're wires, dude. I mean, if we can snap an antenna. <laughs> I think this a cabin is better than a snow truck. 
Ooh, he got two beds. See, he ready. Meet Elena. All right, I actually get to see her for the first time. <clears throat> so nothing... Oh, dude, it's those wires. I thought it was, like, the wires on some electrical box. I said in my community tab, Hey, guys, uh, sorry for the bonus videos. I might be able to get, like, a wheel video out this time. We're, we're ha- I'm I don't even think we're a f we're in, like, two-thirds of the way, like, a fourth of the way through this game. And I've got, like, 30 minutes. Oh, that's Elena. Is that Elena? Please be Elena. No? You're what? Are you Elena? I don't trust you. April 2nd, 1971. Brockton Station, Antarctica. 473 kilometers from Mercosur. Yo, she driving. Pretty swag. I still don't fully trust that it's you. Ooh, the physics go crazy. What is going on with my, my guy? He keeps backing up and then going back in. Yo, if you see some scaly looking white pale skin dude, run his ass over. Just kill him right there. I'm assuming that's what the monster looks like because it's a it's a Roblox war game. Yeah, right, it's snowed in. Oh no, we can we good. Hello. W animation. Where do we put our bags? Oh. Yep. I'm gonna put my suit on here so that she can murder me when I have no protection. Elena. What noise? There was a noise? What noise? Is this door? Dude, my head- I have headphones on. It's gonna blast- Was I right about Elena? Avoid burr? <laughs> Bro, he got shot. Look at his freaking glasses. <laughs> so we gotta go. What about Elena? Huh? We just gonna leave her? Where is she? Alex, <laughs> listen to me. It's a condition three storm outside. The monster's gone along with traces of Elena. How, how can we possibly find her? <laughs> Let alone survive outside. Grab a freaking op. Grab, grab some freaking blunderbuss, cause y'all live like in 1971. Dude, we should unblock all the doors so the monster comes in here looking for us. Like, huh, where are those little squiggy swaggers? And then he doesn't find anything, and then he's mad, and then he keeps searching. He's like, why would he unblock all the doors? And then he goes, Yo, what's up? Right, let's go. <clears throat> What'd you f show it? 
better show it. Give me my bags. That weigh like 7 million kilos. You ready, buddy? You got your bags? Let's go. <clears throat> Dude, if Alex backstabs me some shit. That was Elena screaming. Okay. I'm freaking hyped for the next game they do. Okay. That's a lot to take in. There's a Condition 3 Storm, which I'm guessing is very, very freaking dangerous. There's a 500 kilogram monster. And we need to avoid something. And it's heat sensitive. And we found, we heard Elena screaming at the last second. So Elena's still alive, I think. Like a very big contrast from normal games. Like you'd expect some sort of music in the end credits, but it's just, just radio, just radio noises. Special thanks to Light 14 h Oh, look, it's me right there. Wait, wait, what the flip? I am there. Because they wanted to be put in the credits four times. <laughs> Well, I guess that's gonna be it for the Condition 1 demo. I'm very pumped to play that when the real game releases. Because they, they, they left it on a pretty, pretty freaking huge cliffhanger. So I'll see you when that happens or if I play another game. Um, bye bye for now. Toodles, I guess. Follow me on Twitter.